Hey guys, Kelly Latimer here for Tech360.tv and today I'm going to be reviewing the Arlo Pro 3. This is the latest camera in the Arlo family and it's the upgrade to the Pro 2. The best thing is, is it incorporates some of the key features from the Ultra into this model at a much more friendly price point of $899 for the two camera setup plus base station, which is a great way to start if you're looking at enhancing the security of your home or your office. So let's talk about the upgrades. So one of the things I do love is even though it is a wireless security camera, meaning there is a rechargeable battery inside that you can put in just at the press of a button like so, it sits in back there. You can also keep it wired, but with wires and the outdoors, you always worry about the risk, right? So what they did is like with the Ultra, they incorporated a magnetic charging port just at the bottom here. So there's nothing exposed that you have to worry about it, making this a lot more weather resistant than before. The other few upgrades that I absolutely love, the wider field of vision. We've increased it by 30 degrees. And by we, I mean Arlo, obviously. But it now goes to 160 degrees view, which means that you get to see a lot more, especially if you're putting it up on the side of the wall and you wanna see down the length of your house or corridor. The other thing that's been improved, the resolution. It's gone up to 2K HDR now, which means that you see things in even more clarity than before, which is also quite useful when it comes to seeing things at night. With the help of the handy dandy spotlight incorporated here, you can actually see in full color at night, which is very, very useful if in the event you do have someone trying to break in, you can actually describe a lot more to the police about the color of their jacket or their bike or whatsoever. I actually found that it was so sensitive, which is something you can actually dial down by the way, that when a fly flew by my lens and activated the spotlight, I could actually see that it was a green fly. How bizarre is that? But very, very useful in the event of an emergency. You can also activate the siren if there is someone or motion detected, um, so it makes a rather loud noise that will definitely ward off any other perpetrators. The other thing that's been incorporated is two-way audio. Now, I do love two-way audio very, very much because I tend to get a few deliveries and sometimes the delivery guy doesn't know where to put my items. So I'm able to talk to him and he's able to talk back to me as well without having to call me on the phone or try and work out how to contact me. It makes it really simple and easy to use. Now, if you're someone who's gonna be using the camera indoors as well to keep an eye on your loved ones or maybe your pets as well, then it's also a great way to make sure that they're okay. Say if someone at home has a fall and you need to talk to them immediately, then you absolutely can do that. So there's a lot more that you can utilize with the two-way audio than a lot of people think initially. Setup of this is an absolute breeze. And like I said, it is a wireless camera. So you actually just need to find an appropriate place on your wall to pop it up. And it's really, really simple and easy to do. It just starts with plugging in your base station, activating it on your phone, and you are absolutely a way to go. It is very, very sleek. And like I said, all these extra enhancements means that you don't have to worry about any bits dangling around if you don't want to. You may be worried like I was about your camera being stolen because it's wireless, right? So what's gonna prevent people from taking it? If you haven't already read our friend Cheryl from Tech360's story, uh, she actually did get her camera stolen, but the thing about stealing a security camera is you are definitely gonna get caught. So you don't really have to worry about it. Plus, nine times out of 10, you've got this up and out of reach. So it would be really quite difficult for someone to go up there, grab it, unless they really scoped your place. Then they're really just gonna try and break into your house and the security camera is not gonna do very much. Unless you want to activate the siren or call a friend, which is another function of the Pro 3. One of the drawbacks that I have found though is that because my house is very, very long, from front to back, we've got about 30 meters. Uh, it's narrow though. Uh, it does mean that our base station is sitting at about 15 meters so that it's split between the two. I have found that connectivity drops a little bit and I have been needed to reset the camera in order to rejolt it, but that's 
every now and then so I wouldn't say that it's an absolute bother for me uh, but something to be mindful of if you're going to be setting it up and setting your base station a little bit further away from the camera so make sure you play around with it try and jig it about if you can uh, just to get the optimal point to make sure that you can access all your cameras with seamless connectivity the other thing about the 2K streaming is that it can burn a hole in your data pocket. So if you're someone who likes to check in on your cat every 30 minutes, then yes, you can expect to be burning through some of your data. But otherwise, the thumbnails make it very easy to see whether the motion detected in your house or outside of your house is your loved one or your pet, or if it's an absolute stranger. If that's the case, then at least you know when you need to open the app and start streaming. You can also have the option with the paid subscription to keep all your clips located on cloud for 30 days, which is very, very handy if something does happen so that you're not worrying about the data being wiped and you have no evidence to prove what had happened. All in all, I think it's a great camera. I've really enjoyed the connectivity. I've really enjoyed being able to see what's going on at home. And it gives me a great peace of mind knowing that I can check in on my house and more than anything else, it's just a little bit more of a deterrent. It's like you see all those people with the cameras that are never switched on, right? They're just there to deter people. But actually having the spotlight and the siren capability and the two-way audio means that people know that your camera is on all the time. So there's no messing about with this one. The Arlo is beautiful, the price point, although still slightly high, it is definitely worth it, especially if you're looking at just starting your home security setup. And that's it for this review of the Arlo Pro 3. Stay tuned to Tech360 more for more updates, reviews, and new releases from Arlo and all other great brands. I'll see you again soon. Bye.